General Hospital Spoilers, Tuesday March 22nd Recap, Brit Seeks Jason Replacement, Selena Shuts Down Brad's New Job General Hospital, GH, Spoilers Recap for Tuesday March 22nd, Reveals That Brit Westbourne, Kelly Thebo, Found Herself Seeking a Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, Replacement Before Selena Wu, Lydia Look, Shut Down Brad Coopers, Perry Shen, New Job. At the PCPD, Don Chief Al Canary, Dominic Zampragna, Heard About Jake Webbers, Hudson West, Innocence from Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, Who Explained Her Son's Alibi and Found Out About Michael Corinthus, Chad Jewell, Arrest or Deal. In Hamilton Finns, Michael Easton, Office, He Also Told Harrison Chase, Josh Swickard, About Jake in the Video Calls with His Grandparents. Finn acknowledged the complicated situation, but he wasn't going to give up on Liz whether the stalker mayhem was over or not. As for Chase, he acted like what happened with Brooklyn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, was behind him. Chase felt that he had to get back to his own life. Brooklyn took a similar stance when Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, quizzed her at the deception meeting. Brooklyn suggested she was fine in the friend zone and wasn't eager to put her heart out there for rejection. When Liz joined Finn in his office later, he made an awkward speech and tried to convey that they were stronger together. Liz urged Finn to kiss her, so he did. They established that they were on the same page about tackling whatever came next as a team. At the Metro Court, Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring, got Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, and Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, to sign the last of the documents for their new house. Lucy ordered up mimosas to celebrate and handed over the keys as well. Marshall Ashford, Robert Gossett, and Epiphany Johnson, Sonia D, were pleased to see Portia and Curtis looking so happy. After Marshall wondered what Curtis and Portia were celebrating, he got updates on Epiphany's decision to take the MCATs and suggested a mimosa celebration of their own. Epiphany wound up speaking with Portia alone and revealing her doctor career goal, so Portia offered herself as a mentor. Curtis had his own private moment with Marshall who told a funny story about Curtis' mother when they were young and made some progress bonding with him. Unfortunately, that progress was blown once Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, called with news following Marshall's background check. Drew revealed that he'd found some inconsistencies in Marshall's past, so Curtis filled Porsche in. Lucy joined Brooklyn and Maxie as they prepared for the Deception IPO launch party. Lucy dropped the bomb about Sasha Gilmore. Sophia Matson, marrying Brando Corbin, Johnny Wachter, before talk turned back to party planning. Lucy wanted some special music and learned Brooklyn was getting into songwriting. After Lucy brought up the lip-syncing disaster with Amy Driscoll, Risa Dorkin, Brooklyn suggested she'd accepted her situation. Lucy kept pushing for Brooklyn to sew an original song, so Lucy got on board. As Brooklyn, Lucy and Maxie were wondering about a male voice they could use, Chase walked in the door. At Sonny's penthouse, he wanted Selena to cut to the chase. Selena hoped to use the Port Charles Harbor for some of her shipments and offered Sonny a cut of her business in return. Sonny was willing to consider it if Selena played by his rules. Sonny's terms were no drugs, advance notice and appoint person to facilitate the process. Sonny also wanted to hear from Selena at least 48 hours before the first shipment, so Selena was on board with all that. Selena also brought up Michael's vexing arrest, but Sonny told her to take care of her family while he took care of his own. That led to Selena insisting she was indeed keeping a close eye on her family. Next, Sonny got a visit from Dante, who was surprised that Michael hadn't filled their father in on much of anything. After Dante explained more of the video scandal details, he pushed Sonny to let the cops handle this. Sonny was upset over being at odds with Michael, but Dante tried to understand both sides. After Dante wondered about Sonny's potential future with Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, he suggested that Sonny might have to accept that he couldn't have both Nina and Michael in his life right now. At GH, Brad helped Brit fill out the questionnaire for the matchmaking service. 
After Britt described her perfect man, it became obvious that it was basically a description of Jason. Brad tried to open Britt's mind to new possibilities before he inquired about job opportunities at the hospital. Brad was disappointed over the lack of lab positions, but Britt sold him on being a clinical patient advocate and explaining lab results to patients. Britt declared that Brad was hired pending Terry Randolph's, Cassandra James, approval, so he hugged Britt and wondered what he'd do without her. As Selena barged in and glared, she said that was an interesting question. Since Brad insisted on keeping Britt in his life, Selena wanted to get to know her better and practically demanded lunch arrangements. Brad acted like Britt was busy and pointed out he'd be busy with his new GH job, too. Selena made it clear that she would provide Brad a job along with his rent-free apartment, so he was stuck doing his aunt's dirty work. General Hospital spoilers say Brad's mob drama should get even worse as this storyline moves along, so stay tuned.